Today's workout is a fun one. We are leaving Venice and we are going through the Venice Lagoon to reach a beautiful island which is known as the island of Baruno. And what you and I are going to do right now is we're just going to walk around it and we're going to do some toning as well. So it's going to take 15 minutes. What I want you to do while you're at home is just simply mimic what I'm doing. So just imagine you are marching. So just march on the spot. If your room is big enough, you can walk from one end of the room to the other and just keep going. And we're gonna be alternating with doing walking as well as doing different toning moves. So first little bit, we're just walking on the island. Let's just focus on walking with good posture. So while you're at home, if you're marching on the spot, just make sure your feet are landing nice and softly. Keep your upper body nice and straight. You can also really focus on keeping your core muscles engaged. So keep your tummy pulled in tight to your spine. So as I said, it's going to take 15 minutes. We've got lots of different moves. We're going to be working your abs. We're going to be working your arms. All the moves are standing. This is a really new concept of mine. It's a fun idea to give you a workout when you don't feel like doing a workout and you basically want to see beautiful locations. And this is why I'm bringing you here right now. So we're just going to carry on walking and we're going to get ready to, I think we're going to go into doing a really lovely little toning move. Just look at those colours, aren't they incredible? So what we're going to do now, let's just do this move. We're going to do it for about 40 seconds and you're just going to tap one foot behind, just reach the arm across. So this is a really lovely full body move, as I said today, alternating between toning and then doing just light marching. So reach that across and back. So as folklore would have it, the island, all these houses were brightly painted so that when the fishermen came in and if it was really misty and foggy, they'd be able to see the island because the houses were so bright. So let's just keep going from one side to the other. All right, that's good land softly so we're going to bring it back to a walk or march on the spot so again make sure you're doing this with really good posture i want you to really now focus having your shoulders lifted chest up so you're doing this with really good form and just look at all these different colors all right that's it just keeping that going and it was so quiet because we were here filming at eight o'clock in the morning and um, it was already really hot again. It was like the second vi video in Venice, it was like 29 degrees. So let's go back to doing another toning move. This time, palms in front and just push and tap that foot behind. So this one here, really nice full body move. So fun little routine today, alternating walking and then arms coming in front. So this one here, feel that working through your shoulders, through your chest, we're also working through the glutes as you step that foot behind, core stays pulled in and tight. All right, that's good, keeping that going. And just tapping that foot behind. All right, let's bring it straight back to a walk for me, march or take that to a run. Just take in all those different colors, just take in the scenery, and I want this workout to be really calming for you. I want it to work for your mental health as well as your physical health. So we've got a little bridge now. So if you want to, you can do this as a quick little jog. Just run over the bridge with me and keep going so you can run across it. And you can just see how there are just rows and rows of these beautiful colored houses. And let's just run down. So now we're gonna to go to another exercise. This time, go for sets of three for me. So you're drawing that knee up, both arms come down, sets of three, and then just alternate from one to the other. That's good. So drawing the knee up, keep those core muscles pulled in tight. So this one here is really good to work through those abdominals. We're also working through your glutes, through your thighs, as well as working through the arms. Good for your biceps and triceps. Let's keep driving that up. All right, that's good. Knee comes up, crunch that in, pull the arms down, extend. All right, so let's bring it now back to another march. So marching or walking from one end of the room to the other, do it with good form, keeping that going. 
And the next time you come back and do this, remember, as I always say, if you want to, you can put on your favourite motivational music. Just turn the volume down. You know the routine, so you don't need to have me coaching you. And just look at that turquoise blue. Just these colours are just so incredible. And just keeping going. Land nice and softly with your feet. So we've got a fun exercise now, four punches and then come up onto your tiptoes. Four punches, so then take those heels off the ground. Four punches, swing both arms up. So this one here is really good. Again, at working upper body, we're also working a little bit on your balance, coordination, agility. Um, that's good, keeping that going. Reach up, punch those arms, extend up. And lift, that's good, keeping that going. And if you want to make it a bit harder, you can punch those arms a little bit higher and also the further around you go, then the more you're really engaging your internal and external obliques. All right, let's bring it straight back to a fast walk for me now. Land nice and softly with your feet, keep that going. So you're either walking up and down your room at home or you're marching on the spot. If you're doing the marching on the spot, really focus on getting those knees nice and high and also really swing through with your arms as well. That's good, keeping that going. And just look at all those different colours. The blues, the pinks, the oranges. All right, let's go through this little alleyway here and let's just see what, what we've got at the end. So let's take it to a really fast little walk now. Keep going. And just look at that color, blue sky. I mean, this is so incredible and this is such a rare gift to see it so quiet like this. So let's do a fun little exercise now. What I want you to do is just step one foot behind then come back up. So this is what I call a backward lunge and these are really, really a nice alternative to doing a forward lunge. So these are a lot safer on your knees. So you just step that back. And this one here, again, is gonna really help with your stability. It's good at engaging your core, works through the glutes, works through the thighs, and we're adding in that upper body movement as well. And just keep going. And that is a seriously pink house as well. So step that back, arms come up, doing really well. So we are well over halfway through today's workout. And this is what I wanna do. I wanna make workouts really fun for you because Exercise is simply about moving your body. All right, step that back and then coming up. Step and that's it. Step it back and then push back up. All right, so let's take it back to a walk again now. So keeping that going. And as you can see, I haven't put any timers on because today I just want you to enjoy the scenery and just join in when you're ready with all the moves. There's, there's no pressure with this workout. It's just a very different style training session today. All right, so again, just keep marching. If you want to, remember you can take that to a little bit of a light jog. And just keeping that going. All right, so let's now do a little arm exercise. So just come into this position for me, have your fingertips in line with your shoulders and just give me tiny little circles. I'll tell you when you change direction. So let's just keep going. And this one here, really good at working through the deltoid and now take it back in the opposite direction. And this one is also really lovely for the posture. It really helps to open up through the chest what's known as, what's known as your pectorals, major muscles. So we're just really opening that up fingertips stay in line with the shoulders. Right, let's bring it back to another walk. So what I also want you to do in today's workout, choose what is your favorite color house, okay? Mine is definitely the one coming up in a minute that I'm about to walk past. And we've already done a workout outside here today. You recognize it from earlier. I love this pink and turquoise. So do let me know in the comments down below what your favorite color house was. Right, let's do another exercise. Let's go for doing a little squat tiny squat now come up onto your tiptoes so squat and then come up onto the tiptoes that's good so always make sure when you're doing these squats that your knees never come over the line of the toes if you don't like doing squats just simply do the calf raises remember you can modify this workout to suit you and take it down and then come back up so it's nice control and even this house it might not be brightly colored but i love the texture of the wood the door the shutters as well. All right, so just down and then coming back up. 
All right, so let's take it back to another walk. Remember you're choosing your favorite color house and let's just keep going. So marching on the spot or walking from one end of the room to the other, just do a check for me on your posture. Make sure your shoulders are pulled back, your chest is lifted. Let's now really engage your core tummy muscles. So pull them in nice and tight. And you do that by just thinking where your belly button is, try and draw it in tight to your spine. And you can just hold that there. And that's just gonna really engage your deepest core muscle known as your transverse abdominis. All right, let's do another arm exercise. This time now, step one foot behind and just take your arms up. So you're gonna have your palms facing up and then bring that back down. So we're just going shoulder press and back. And this one here, just imagine you can just feel those shoulder blades coming up and squeezing back together again. So as I said, today it's a real mixture of doing full body moves as well as doing those little intervals of walking. So we're just working through lots of different joints as well. Let's take it straight back now to your fast walk. And because we've got less than four minutes to go, let's really up the intensity. And we can now take it to a little jog. So let's just jog over that bridge so you can do a little bit of a run for me now or just march out on the spot a little bit faster all the way down to the other side and keeping that going and just take in again that view right let's do another arm exercise this time now elbows lifted up palms facing in and we're just working the back of the upper arms the triceps and just keeping that going that's good and again, if you don't like any of the exercises, you can just carry on walking, just march on the spot. So at each of these ones, we're just doing approximately 40 seconds. So this one here, I'm specifically targeting what is known as your tricep, the back of the upper arm. And you'll really feel that working. Keep those elbows nice and lifted for me. So let's bring it back to that really fast power walk. So because we've nearly finished today, let's up that intensity, walk even faster. If you're marching on the spot, get those knees even higher for me. Just keep going, power that through. Or if you want to, you can take it back to that light little jog doing really well let's just keep going and moving as fast as you can with your walking or your marching so now let's do a bit of an ab workout so stand with your feet hip width distance apart and you're now going to go for sets of four twist 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 and twist and now take it four from one side to the other that's good and then keeping that going so this here is the Laguna as they call it and this is where we caught a boat into or from this morning it took about 35 minutes from mainland mainland Venice which if you haven't seen that you can see the other Venice walking workout video as well and let's just reach from one side to the other really feel that through those abdominals doing really well we've nearly finished today we've done most of the walking we're just going to finish off with a couple more walk and then arm toning. So this one now, let's go sets of eight, punching the arms in front and just look at all these different pinks and purples along this little alleyway. And now take those arms up, punching them up. So you can be walking or just carry on doing that, marching on the spot. And again, just take in all those different colors. Punch in front and then get ready to take those arms back up. That's good, so we're going in front and now controlling them back up keep those core muscles tight doing really well okay so this time out let's do another arm exercise so we're going to have arms palms facing up and now just do these little shoulder taps for me so we're just going to tap the shoulders elbows stay in line and this is the last exercise today, so let's just keep that going, doing really well. And definitely come and have a look at the blog. I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video as well, because while we were there, Hattie, my niece that's filmed this, got some super exciting news. So if you go to the blog, you can read to see, see what happened and see the whole of the Venice trip. All right, that's good. Keeping that going elbows stay in line with the shoulders and now let's just walk it out so well done if you like this video please definitely um give it a thumbs up and let's just have a look once more at that blue sky and then 
take that back down to the lagoon because Venice is all about the water. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up um, and also please share it. Do come and look at the blog all about the postcards from Venice and I will see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow and if you click up here, you can come and do the cool down stretch and well done and I hope you enjoyed the workout.